German scum. This is Odorous Shurungus commanding you to continue watching Capital Chaos. They support Gua and anal rape and all kinds of wonderful things. All right, this is the Mighty Z of Capital Chaos TV. And we're hanging out here with Ben and Sam from GoRod. How's it going, Ben and Sam? Yeah, fine. Very happy to be here. Ready to make an interview for Capital Chaos. Oh, nice. Yeah. nice, nice. <laughs> and, uh, well, well, well said. <laughs> I would agree. I would agree. Ditto. Ghetto. Ghetto. Ditto in the ghetto. Wait, Don't talk about ghetto. Ghetto. Eh? <laughs> yeah, man. And uh, this is your first time in America? Not really. This is uh, actually the third time. But we went uh, six years ago for the Maryland Death Fest. Okay. Three years ago for uh, Maryland Death Fest and uh, Midwest Fest, Fest in uh, Milwaukee. Michigan. Yeah. And so we make some few show. Uh, no, Wisconsin. The, Wisconsin. Sorry. Yeah. Between the two. So, but this is a real first uh, tour we made in the U.S. Oh, yeah. Wow. And this is the first night. And yeah, yeah, this is exactly. the first night. Yeah. Wow. Let's start it. Finally. You must be very excited. We are. Yeah. And. Uh, You've been together, is it, is it true you've been together 15 years? Is that incorrect? Uh, exactly 17 years, I guess. Uh, but I joined the band uh, way later, but they founded the band in uh, th uh, uh, 97, so yep. 16 years old, I guess. Yep. Ah, wow. And uh, yeah, your first album came out almost 10 years after that, right? <laughs> Not really 10 years, in two, 2004. 2004 yeah. Less than 10 years. Yeah, 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 but it's a long time. But this is, you know, uh, we start the band with Matthew, the, the guitar player, as a uh, body, yeah, you know, school school band or stuff like this. And then we continue, continue making uh, demos, stuff like that, uh, until we make a uh, full album. Yeah. yeah. Now, and, uh, your, your latest album is. Uh, I'm going to get fired somehow for... What's the name of your new album? <laughs> the Perfect Absolution. That's yeah. the one. That's the one with Varangian Paradise on it. <laughs> oh, man. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Do you like this song? Oh, I love that song. Yeah. I've been using that as an intro on Capital Chaos for the last year or two. It's oh, great. Great, great song. Yeah, funky. Thanks. Funky, you. you know? And uh, what's the inspiration uh, to the title of that song? What is Varangian Paradise? Okay, this is um, the singer. He made uh, the um, a world a uh, world story about Olga. That is the first first uh, queen of Russia, okay. yeah, to simplify. And uh, this is uh, her story about how she uh, she take a revenge on people that kill her husband. Yes. Yeah, to be uh, really uh, fast. It's a little bit more more complicated, but. And this kind of subject switch very well with uh, our music, so yeah, that's so it. Her vengeance was kind of brutal one. Yeah. <laughs> Do you guys all contribute musically and lyrically, or just the uh, the vocalist only do the the lyrics? The lyrics, no, yeah, just the vocalist. Yeah. He, he, he took care of uh, maybe I don't know, 99 percent of the lyrics and the concept. So, yeah. yes. Does he, does he also play music? Does it, yeah, he does. He, uh, he does music, but uh, on the on the band is just singer. Yeah. But he plays guitar. Everybody in the band played guitar too. So yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. This is your fifth CD. Yes. Your number five. Right, right, right. Uh, this is the fourth fourth full album, and uh, between the this one and the last one, we make an EP. Uh, Transcendence. Yeah, Transcendence. Right. Yeah. Did you write specifically for this album, or was it a collection of old stuff? For Transcendence or for the, for the new album? For the new album? Uh, so yeah, I forgot the question. Did you write specifically for that album or was it a collection of older songs? No, no, no specifically. Yeah, specifically, yeah. So, um, every time we we make a new album, this it's a brand creation. new song yeah. and new creation. And do you do you get together to write that uh, that album over a period of time, or is it just a collection of riffs over the years gone by? No, it's uh, it's uh, mostly of the times it's uh, Mathieu who will get involved of the of the composition of the whole album, the the riffs and uh, the structures, and uh, we figured it out together. And um, the last details. Yeah, details, only details. Yeah. We are just executive, you know. I see. I see. Yeah. Now, uh, who did the artwork on the new album? Uh, actually, this is Ash, my, this is my brother. Uh, hey, yeah. Ash, <laughs> what, where did, where did you uh, Where did you find this artist from? What What, what inspired you to, to hook up with oh, her? Oh, just the story. The story about the Queen, the Olga. So we make um, a picture that 
speaks about uh, the lyrics. Simple life. Yeah. And uh, they got it right off the bat for you then, right? So Do you, they were able to uh, see your vision yep, from sure. what you yeah, showed. Yeah, we, we, we work together. He makes some some first try. You say, no, not that point. Yeah. That, this way it's it, okay. And it takes a little, a little time, but uh, we we finally get it because... Uh, you know, it was yeah, it was hard. It was hard. The the entire process of uh, this album was hard, but we finally get it. Yeah. And uh, now, did you just recently play Jakarta? Is that right? Yes, a few days before. That was with uh, a very uh, Azari dying, Cradle of Filth, Cannibal Corpse. Obituary, yep. Look Up, Dying Fetus, The Amenta was uh, awesome. It was sick, man. Yeah. We played in front of ten thousand people. They were they were absolutely unbelievable for us. A good opportunity, and the people were dedicated. Like we felt like stars, man. We we just signed autograph all day long. Wow. And uh, we had fun with bands we like. Uh, no, it was fucking great. We just can't wait to go back. Yeah. Wow. They have a great, great festival in this part of this world. It's yeah. very surprising, but even the sound, the organization, really, really nice. Now, I'm not familiar with Jakarta, but is there was there a big police presence or a military presence or? Uh, actually, it was in a in a park, you know, that is a little bit close by a doll. Uh, so you can't get in as as you want. Yeah, so no no specially uh, many police forces, okay. but some, of course. Oh, sure. But people over there are really, really nice, so not no problem, no harder problem. Was there any band there that you had never seen that you wanted to see? Uh, <laughs> not sure, yeah, I have a... I've seen all the band I wanted to see. Oh, see. Yeah. And the band we wanted to see killed totally, yeah. man. Yeah, it. Arbitrary were, uh, yeah. were amazing. They played just the the, the, um, the song of uh, the three first albums, like the our our slowly s rotting slowly in Europe, and uh, yeah. yeah, arbitrary, yeah, from '89 to '92. Was uh, was completely yeah. sick, and just, there were just four. Only Trevor who was playing guitar. Man, they were just yeah. perfect. I, I wanted to see that because I never see them uh, playing uh, the incomplete uh, songs, and this one is my favorite album. In fact, it is the first death metal album I uh, ever listened to. So for me, it was a uh, how so, do I. so great. I saw them here in America, and they 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 had no solos. It was all rhythm guitar. Did, yeah. they, did they have some lead playing when you saw them? I prefer that they don't have any solos. Uh, that uh, the uh, former guitar player, the uh, which James Murphy? Or? No, 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 Alan no. West. No, okay. the former. No, no, the 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 Guignol. Yeah, Ralph Santola, man. Yeah. he sucks. I'm sorry, oh. Ralph Ralph Santola. Okay. He played. Uh, he also played with. Uh, uh, death for the individual thought patterns tour. All no. oh, right, right. Uh, and the stay side too. He's he's a good guitar player. No problem with that. But for obituary, it just don't fit. Ah, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. my point of view. That makes sense. Yeah. That makes because sense. A few solos in obituary, it's okay because uh, you take part of uh, the you know the mood. Right. But in this kind, it was like uh, he played only the, his solos and way too loud. Man, you playing in low band? Please right. play it low. He wasn't what? contemplating the music, it was overpowering, huh? Yeah, sure. We were like a, like a kid, once again. Yeah. For sure, for sure. Now, you uh, worked with uh, El Mobo, French yeah. producer, right? Yeah, sure. Yeah. And he's, uh, he's known for uh, mostly video games. Yep. Video game music, yeah, that's right? That's his, uh, the big part of his job, yeah. yeah. Did, mm. he, did he seek you guys out, or did you seek him out? Did you... Uh, did, you, did he contact you or did you oh, contact him? This is uh, he lives in, in, in our area, so we know we know him for a long time. Yes. So um, usually for the latest album, uh, for the former album, Matthew did also the sound mixing, mastering, or stuff like this. And this time he didn't have the time to to make everything, so we just contact El Mobo for for the for the master and the mix. 
Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a really good producer, and uh, we were in, we were in touch with him since a while, like like you said, and uh, you know we were super super happy to play to uh, to work with. Uh, he's easy. He's uh, easy going. He's, uh, yeah. he's sympathetic. He's uh, and he's really serious in his work, and we are really happy. Of, yeah. uh, and he he can uh, he he give us uh, a new point of view on our music oh, good, because good, we yeah. we were really in a um, close circle, you know, when we right. when we are into go sure. for composing, mixing, mastering. It was just between us, so he he give us a new point of view. It's, it was really benefit. Yeah. <laughs> How do you find your music? That you do you like to listen to? Is it by chance, or is it uh, people uh, recommend certain groups to you? Uh, personally, I'm uh, really into old old music. No, some sometimes friends uh, just just give me some CDs to listen to, uh, or some MP MP3. And if I like, I just listen more attentively and then buy the CD. But uh, I not I not looking after uh, many many listen to too many bands because I just can't can't stand with uh, too many bands. Uh, it's too much for me. So like uh, just a big wall of noise after a yeah minute. yeah sure 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 so we became old man we became old that's I right we we are less curious than before but it's okay what about pop music can you. Uh, can you uh, appreciate Lady Gaga or Katy Perry or Lady Gaga? Oh, not specially, but uh, we uh, honestly we don't we don't give a fuck about that, you know. But yeah. we listen many 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 kind of musics. Uh, we listen funk, jazz, seventies, uh, yeah, progressive rock. We're open-minded. Or just we listen to everything. So we like, we don't like, whatever. Not but so much Lady Gaga though. No, not so much Lady Gaga. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yesterday, Jeff Hanneman from Slayer died. Do you uh, have a favorite Slayer album or a Slayer song or any of that? It, it, I'm, I'm really, I feel really, really sad because it was a. Uh, even Slayer is not exactly the the same band I liked uh, right now because Dave Lombardo, because uh, Tom Araya's is back, uh, many things like that, you know, but. Yeah, it's it's fucking morning. It's a uh, it's hard to 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 see myself. Then I I never I never I'm never gonna see Jeff Hanneman and Slayer once again. And I he, he, I was a diehard fan, really really diehard fan of Slayer of uh, the entire discography. And uh, I don't know if my five song, my five album. I don't know, maybe South of Heaven or. Yeah, I don't know. It's not really. Uh, I love Rain in Blood, but I think Hello Waits is way better. Right, uh, sure. But I think in, uh, Divine Intervention is way better too. So I don't know exactly. But uh, it's hard to be hard to pinpoint one, huh? Hey, they be part of uh, of uh, maybe they are the reason why I started music. I think oh, right. one of the one of the bands. Yeah, Dave Lombardo and uh, of course. What about you? What about you with Slayer? Yeah, sure. A big uh, big part of my young life sure. as a music listener right. yeah for my part um the period between raining blood and divine divine intervention all this album are the best for me so source of heaven raining blood season in the abyss uh, great 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 music can't go wrong so now you have this tour first day of this tour it's about a month right yep yep are you familiar with all the bands on the tour yeah that's the first time we met okay <laughs> But I met uh, I met once uh, the guys of Ar Arch Pryor okay. uh, from Canada uh, who, who opened for we will open for us in, in Vancouver for the last show okay. and uh, they are super super sympathetic nice guys uh, amazing musicians gonna be gonna be really rad man but the others uh, the other of the lineup now it's first time ever we met we met him. And, uh, so what's after? Have you got something else lined up after this, or are you? Uh, what's going on? Are you going to record another album, or? No, we no we, well, we're going uh, just after the tour. We're going back to France, stay two days, and then go to Japan for one week tour with the uh, the Crown. Wow, Swedish death metal band, uh, old school. <laughs> So, so this is great. <laughs> be, once again, mm. going to be our first uh, Japanese tour ever, wow. mm. and we are really excited about that because yeah. it's going to it's going to be amazing. Sure. Uh, it's they are already one yeah one the Tokyo show is already sold out. Wow. So 
you know. This is a great period for us to just to wing, just to wing. Uh, so it's all coming together for you guys. Yeah, and then after that, some few festival in the summer, and then after uh, we we will we'll try to do a new album or new EP. Maybe we don't know exactly now, but we will working on new stuff. Yeah, we we'll go quickly, for sure. We we'll yeah. try to 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 have some new. New stuff to propose uh, in the in the next year. We don't know if it will be an album or new EP, but we will. You will have some new stuff. We'll figure it out. <laughs> sure. well, thank you for your uh, thank you for your time. Have a good show. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. See you, Bye, guys.